Oh. I don't know where Jennifer is. She's probably over there crying in the corner. Jennifer! 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 Who is Jennifer? Yeah. Yes. We got him for the party. I just want to say happy birthday to my wife. And uh, <laughs> the first party that I've thrown for, and she's uh, walking through Jordan said it's about time. So, I want to thank everybody for showing up, man. That's uh, unbelievable. Thank you so much. Go out to my sister for helping put this together, Dina. Um, Christy. Dina. Dina. Thank you so much. And that's it. The food's gonna be on in about 15 minutes, you guys. There's plenty of beer, there's plenty of booze. You got half a bucks. Yeah. Right? Where's Dina? Yeah. I gotta take the lens cap off. See? All right, say something to the. Uh, you're on. So first of all, you guys are all big fat liars, okay? And Christy, I hate you. Andrea, I hate you too. You guys hate you. I hate you. Liars, traitors, betrayers, and Stacy. I'm done. Oh, the Ohio State. We're gonna come over. There's all kinds of things that everybody here loves about Jen. Sorry. Um, back in April of last year when we were driving to my dad's on um, April day to paint his deck, as we were turning into my dad's subdivision, Jennifer said, this is it, isn't it? <laughs> and I said, this is what? She said, this is it, this is my surprise party. <laughs> I said, it's April, Jen. <laughs> and she said, I said, your birthday's in October. She said, I know, you're doing it now so that I will be totally thrown off that this is my party. And I said, well, I sure hope not because look at how we're both dressed. We were going to stay in a deck. So, um, <laughs> you guys have on your table a little story about Jen. And if, if you haven't grabbed one yet, I was hoping if you wanted to, don't feel any pressure, but if you would want to sing along. Um, a little, a little history of Jen, <laughs> but um, you guys all love her as much as I do. She's known as the hoot around town. She's a hoot. We all know she's a hoot. You can always count on Jen to give you the real deal. Um, when you're doing something right, you can always count on Jen to say, girl, you are on, uh-huh. <laughs> And uh, when you need to have something done about your roots, she'll just grab you by your hair and say, girl, you can't have your roots done. <laughs> and uh, if she happens to be in a rot rotten mood, you can always count on Jen to say, damn it, I am pleasant. <laughs> I just saw a drunk eating at the Piggly Wiggly. And I smiled at the... I can help myself. <laughs> One thing that uh, I love about Jen is that she's real with her kids. She can always, uh, she always, <laughs> so does that. Mom's words and, uh, what's that? Oh, okay, my God. When we were younger, we used to fight like cats and dogs, and we had scratches all up and down our arms <laughs> and scars for a while. And we would call our mom at work, and she would just say as quietly as she could through gritted teeth, you better stop calling me or I'm going to take your neck and twist it. <laughs> so Jen just modified that a little bit. With her kids, she just tells them, that if you don't knock it off, I'm going to chop you up into little pieces. <laughs> we know she doesn't mean it. <laughs> 
So there's so many reasons that we love Jen Go on forever, but put a, together a little song. So I was hoping if you were up for it, you'd help uh, sing along. It's to the tune of the Beverly Hillbillies, because whenever we're together, we love to pretend like we're from the South. So if you all would uh, grab one of those stories about Jen and let's have a little sing along. All right, are you ready? So here's a little story about a gal named Jen. She was a little bully till the ripe old age of ten. Never told her mama she beat up Melissa Knight. The kids were all afraid that she would start another fight. Queen of the parking lot, she was known as. So they moved out to Waterford in 1982, where listening to Lover Boy was what she liked to do. Air supply, death, leopard, lots of aquanet. She sprayed a thick upon her hair to make sure it was set. Thick and tall. Like a wall, it was. She moved on to Clarkson, oh, she didn't like it there. The people all were clicky, might as well have been Bel Air. She would have been a cheerleader if she had gone to Mott, but she landed out in Clarkson, spoken in the parking lot. <laughs> One night she met a guy named Ken who threw her in the pool. For some ungodly reason, she still thought that he was cool. He came to mow the lawn for her with the broken leg. When he proposed, she jumped, he didn't even have to beg. <laughs> He mowed the lawn up. He came on crutches and mowed the lawn with his hobbling around the backyard trying to get her attention. <laughs> they settled on the lake and bought a boat and had some kids. The greatest two you ever met, they had them, yes they did. She made a million scrapbooks of the good times that they had and threatened both their lives whenever they were being bad. <laughs> so now she works at the doctor's office in her scrubs. Fixing ears and noses with some people that she loves. And though she's turning 40, they'll show, there's still hope she'll get her dream of leaving everything she knows to run off with fun. No. Things. Does anybody you guys turn the face, the face of all things, but you, you turn the face, the face of all things, and you, you turn the face, the face of all things. Yeah. 
out, you can't ignore Bang, bang, can you turn into something better? Bang, bang, can you help me see the light? Bang, bang, such a picky little dirty picture Bang, bang, well, everything won't be alright
It was the simplest thing to do, but I knew it had it. Look like trouble.